Hey all welcome back to Let's Play E6. Last time we took on the, what was possibly considered one of the worst dungeons in the game, uh, the Ruins of Lost Time, and we beat it with pretty much ease because I learned how to dash jump. This time we're going to take on some side quests before we continue to the second next dungeon, the third dungeon of the game. Alright, so first thing we want to do is go into this guy's house. Awesome. After the repairs were finished on the bridge, Aredin and Voy came in to visit me. Apparently, there are reports of suspicious looking bunch of up to no good on these islands. We may have important things to be using our time with and bickering amongst ourselves. But never mind that for now. I'm sure you haven't forgotten our agreement, have you? The one you should, the one about you finding your way to reach Shimmeth Island, of course. Adol told Bosslum about how he was able to reach Shimmeth Island through the ruins of lost time. Well, what? And you said you found the remains of a palace there, with a statue and several glowing pillars inside. I think I'm going to need to discuss this with Professor Raba. I'm impressed. I was aware that you were an adventurer, but you've done some extraordinary work here. Alright, a deal's a deal. I'll lend you one of my most prized possessions. Receive the Grathius Talisman. This is a talisman passed down from my homeland, Altago. With this in your possession, you'll be able to move around freely underwater. You might even be able to go places you couldn't before. And just so we're clear, boy, I'm only lending it to you. You're going to have to give it back at some point. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, next place we're gonna go... In here, yeah, in here, cool. I wanna talk to this guy. This guy. Hmm. Wow, I haven't seen one of those in a while. You've got a knack for finding rare goods, eh? How about it? I make you a deal. You willing to trade that Kapla water for something of mine? Hell yeah! Right you are, my friend. Here you go. I obtained the email mallet. This is a pretty good item. So I'm gonna go ahead and equip that to one of my inventory slots right here. And next up... I say we upgrade the uh, new sword a little bit? I don't think I get too much on it until a little bit in today. We can get some stuff done today. I'm gonna get 230 more to upgrade it. So next up, we're gonna use this again. And we're going to warp to the Fountain of Prayers. Nice. And, well, not the Fountain of Prayers. Oops, I meant to say Retta Village. In today's episode, we're probably going to take on the first optional boss we got. We can. So we're going to head up this way, and I think now, well not now, but in a bit it's going to be the best time to go ahead and equip. Well, let me see, do I got anything? Well, I'm not worried about it yet. But anyway, switching out the Thieves Glove for the ML, ML Mallet, because I'm going to need that probably in today's episode. Where we're going, definitely. I'm going to jump over this thing right here. You can jump over this thing now and you can get a lot of stuff here early if you're lucky but it'll be kind of like I did in the ruins of lost time with that optional boss which may not be the best idea in the world I don't know anyway I want to head out this way and you will find that dude guy but other than that dude guy you'll find a luminary sh a luminarian shroom nice and up this way, we got more of these duders. 
We're dropping some Luminarian Shrooms and actually kicking my ass. Let's get out of the way. Come on. Calm down. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Go away. Go away. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead. Use the Luminarian Shrooms. Come on, you fricks. Go away. God damn it. I hate these things. No! They can inflict such good heavy. Oh my god! Stop it! Stop it! Oh my god, he is. There we go. Go away, please! Go away. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you. Okay. Die. Die. Thank you. God, what the hell? That was that was bad. Okay, you're going to see that whole thing. Anyway, up here is a uh, ruined earring. Oh my god, I think this is the item I need. Yeah, that prevents confusion. I say while I'm in this area, I just go ahead and put that thing on because by god, those monsters are freaking annoying. I need the. Cause at the very least, I can stop attacking me, please. You're not. You're not fun. I really hate when games like you know. Put like you know. Do I even have the thing to prevent heavy? I probably do actually. I think I do. Oh well, we'll take rid of the bloody nail for now. Where is it? There we go. That's what I need. Neat. I mean, I need to be level, like, I don't know, 32 by the... 35 by the next major boss anyway, so I might as well. I can re-equip the bloody nail at any point I want. I mean, the blood nail at any point I want. So... That's nice. Yeah, I want to do maybe a little bit of grinding here. Is there something that way? Nope. I have a feeling I'm missing a chest around here, but I don't think I actually am. Up here, oh, here's a chest. Let's see, and here is a wildfowl mate. Nice. Which we're gonna need for the upcoming boss. I'm gonna go ahead and equip the wildfowl mate for the next upcoming bosses. Okay. So, next up. Real quick. Recording? Cool. Sorry, I was just checking on something. I didn't think my o OBS was recording. It was. Cool. It's been recording for about 10 minutes now. That's more than I expected. Well, no, it's not really. I mean, judging by all the come on, come on, and stuff. I mean, I'm probably going to cut most of that out, but that's a thing. Alright, up uh, this way, I think, is where I want to go now. Maybe, I don't know. I hope that didn't get in the way of my freaking recording. My Steam window is kind of blocking the view. Cool, cool. I don't want to go this way yet. Which is fine. Cool, that's good. I wanna go actually this way. I 
and out this way. I'm going to go ahead and re-equip. the blood nails. I'm gonna go ahead and use that and I'm gonna go ahead and want to equip wild foul mate. And so here we are first optional boss of the game. This guy you just kinda wanna get him out of the way and then use that when you need to also use the blood nails though, so you can like, you know, take out like the random enemies. Could be a good place to get some experience. God, you fricks, I'm telling you, these guys are Really starting to get bad at me. Oh, whatever. Did I re equip the blood now? Nope, I don't think I did. Frick. Okay. Let's retry that real quick. Good thing is when you die. Oh, I equipped the Gobba hand. That's not what I want to equip at all. That should fix it. Gobba hand's a double-edged sword, and I, I don't think it's really a risk I want to be taking right now. Alright. Oh, yeah, here we are, this guy. I'm gonna get some good experience from fighting him, so... I say might as well. I think we got him. We definitely got him. Cool. And I got a level up as well. Which will make this area give me like... I don't know. These enemies can't hurt me that badly. So... I say it's going to get me some good stuff. I say we just take on the rest of the enemies though. That's probably the best way to do things. See how much I got. I got some stuff out of that. I mean, I used all my wild found meats as I expected to, but that's fine. So next up, we want to head up into an area called Windseeker Heights. I think I might be missing something though. I don't know exactly. Maybe. No, I'm not. I'm gonna head this way, and up here should be. should be a.
Well, it's a... Uh, Ola. Yeah, I was listening to you. It's fine. Come here to practice? That's not a bad idea. Over there is Zimmeth Sanctum. And that's Grand of Aulis. Yep. I've seen them. I've been to both of them. Oh, and yeah, by the way, I found your other mirror fragment. I received the seeds of power. Nice. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and warp to Port Remorge. I'm gonna meet, go into that one person shop and upgrade my product, my, my sword. Duh. The electric -y one. That's a good one to upgrade, the electric -y one. I'm going to go ahead and tamper the swords, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to upgrade this one. Well, that's neat. Well, I'll come back in a bit. That sounds like a good idea. Um, before we enter the next dungeon, you're going to want to... Well, number one, I'm going to... Though I'm probably not want it to... I'm going to... I'm gonna buy some, I guess. I'm gonna buy a few honey just so I have some good healing. And then I'm gonna, well, actually, let's see. And I can sell as well. Let's see, can I sell? Can I sell any of this? Let's see how much this goes for. These go for a bit. Oh, and I, I need to go ahead and use that seed of power real quick. I'm not gonna sell that. You don't wanna sell that. And we're going to head out into the plains, and then we're going to enter my least favorite dungeon in the game. Let me show you what you need, by the way, for this one. You want to equip... So I'm going to get rid of that, I guess. I want to equip that. I'm going to re-equip that. You want the Rainbow Fragment equipped for this dungeon. End of story. Um... Because the dungeon coming up is, without a doubt, probably... I don't know if I still got it in me. Is one of the worst in the game, yeah? And that's what a dash jump looks like with the electric sword, by the way. So, I don't know what the... I don't know how to pronounce the action name, so I'm just going to call it electric -y sword. If they want, If they want me to pronounce it, they better make it a better, more pronounceable name. So here we are at Lime Water Cave. Worst dungeon in the game, if you ask me. But I'm going to save Lime Water Cave for next video. Next time on Let's Play East 8, I mean 6, we're going to explore Lime Water Cave. I'll see you guys later.